Well hey friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home and today I have a really quick project that is keeping me organized this summer and I threw it together fairly simply, fairly quickly and inexpensively but it is proving to be a very handy resource for me this summer and it is a summer binder. I'm going to flip you around and share with you what I have in it and how it's keeping me on track this summer. Okay, so here is my summer binder. Basically, this is a place to compile and keep all of the components of paperwork and schedules and all of the things that have to do with any of the activities that we are participating in this summer. So I just bought this binder at the Dollar Tree um, here in Canada. Everything's $1.25. Um, I had wanted to put some vinyl on it that maybe said summer binder with like a watermelon or something like that. However, I am just gonna, <laughs> if I get to that project, I get to it. If not, this is as good as it's gonna get and I'm quite happy with it. I went with the pink color because I love pink and it just seemed very summery to me. So, let me show you what's inside. Okay, so I just have a pen here. Um, it's an orange pen. Again, this is also from the Dollar Tree and I've stuck this in here so that I just always have a pen on hand. Now, this sheet actually comes from a website called the Littles and Me. I follow Ashley on Instagram and I've been following her for several months. She's amazing. She has all kinds of these printables, um, kind of bucket list printables for each season and as well as like Christmas. Um, they're just adorable and rather than putting it into um, a frame, um, I just opted to put it in here. It just really went with the look of my binder um, and it's just super cute and fun. So I just stuck it in a page protector and then I've added um, a, a calendar. So I've got July on one side and I have August on the other. I'm filming this in June. We don't really have anything planned for June. So um, I wasn't gonna put June in here because it would just more or less be a waste. Now I haven't filled this out yet simply because I just I didn't want to have our whole schedule out on the interwebs for all to see but um, we have some things happening We'll be at camp in July and August and we will have swimming lessons and various different things and some of these things last um, for about a week or several weeks um, and I'm just going to use washi tape to um, kind of denote those dates and we'll be able to fill this out with all of our activities. Okay. So then I went through a webinar with Ashley from The Littles and Me and another gal, um, and it was all about having an intentional summer. And so this was some of the printouts for that webinar, and I just printed them out um, for the webinar, but I put them in here uh, just so that I can reference back to them. So... This is Ashley from The Littles and Me and Carrie um, from CarrieLynnSnyder.com and they have um, some websites, um, some websites that I'd like to visit um, and then this is some of the notes from the webinar. One thing I loved the best about it was is they wanted you to write down three non-negotiable things that you would like to do with your family this summer and how can I carve out time and reschedule dates and times to do those things. So I just loved that very practical um, thing and to just pick three things out of the whole summer that are kind of non-negotiable that you really, really want to do and if you do nothing else and you get those things done, it will likely be a successful and fun summer. So on the next page is more webinar notes. And then lastly on the webinar um, page, they have lots and lots of resources, um, books to read, favorite podcasts, how to simplify your summer meal planning, which has been huge for me this year, um, and favorite places to find kid-friendly activities. So this was a page I definitely wanted to keep in here for reference. And then I have also just really become obsessed with the Read Aloud Revival podcast. Um, it has just really changed our world. And one of the things that we're going to do this summer is we are going to read aloud The Trumpet of the Swan. And um, this is basically a Read Aloud family book club. And um, so they are just, they offer different ideas on how to facilitate reading the book together. And then on the back of this, 
they have some information about E.B. White, um, some related reading um, ideas. And anyways, I just wanted to have this again in here for quick reference and to have, again, all of our summer stuff in one spot. Okay, so then I got a pack of folders that came in a two-pack, and again, these were also from Dollar Tree. I went with orange because it felt very summery to me. Now, in these folders, this is where I'm keeping a lot of um, the loose pamphlets and paperwork that we have for the summer. So in this side, I had to flip this over because it shared our library name, um, but this is um, the library reading program that the kids are going to be participating in this summer. So uh, public school around here doesn't get out till the very last day of July. So, um, or maybe it's whatever the very last Friday is of July, that's when kids get out. So they're actually technically still in school. So this won't start until July. So we have the information here. The library also does tons of activities um, during the various weeks of the summer. So all of that information is in here. And then um, we are also doing this Fruit of the Spirit um, activity. And so Ashley from The Littles and Me, um, again, I just, I love her stuff. Um, she has done like, it's called the Camp Littles and Me. And what she's done is she has broken down um, the Fruits of the Spirit into each week of the summer. And she has got uh, various activities for each of the fruits of the spirit. So this one is joy. So there's a hands-on activity, um, something to create, make, and the fruit in action. And then she has lots more uh, information on her website of ways to incorporate the fruit of the spirit into your learning. Um, and all of these resources are free. She comes out with a new fruit of the spirit every Friday. Um, you can purchase them all at once on her um, on her website, which is great if you're if you kind of just want to have it all at once rather than waiting um, for every Friday, but the artwork is beautiful. The concept is so simple and it provides really good um, learning for your kiddos during the summer. Okay, so then this folder. All right, well, let's start on this side first. So this side, I have um, different uh, trail maps and um, guides and stuff for our city. So this one right here is actually a whole pamphlet that the city puts on. It's like a mini book, and it has all of the festivals and activities and just everything going on in spring and summer in our area. And then I picked up um, some other... Um, attractions pamphlets when we we're at the Science Center and some trail guides so that if we decide to go on a hike we know where these various trails are within our area so I've kept all of that in here otherwise they would be strewn all over and it would just be a hot mess so in this side I have our camp packing list excuse if you can hear my kids in the background um, so we go to camp every year for two weeks and camp is a very kind of remote place for us um it's on an island and it's there's it's about three hours away there is no chain um, stores on the island and if you forget something it's usually very expensive to buy it on the island so and because we go for two weeks we really need to be very prepared i've been taking my kids um, Aubrey was six months old when she first went and Colt was seven months old so we've gone every year since and I went a few years prior to that to so church camp. That's really great. So the past few years I have hung on to my packing list. I actually had a folder um, just designated to the packing list so that each year I can reference them and make sure that I'm not forgetting things. Because my kids are getting older, there's things like that I don't have to remember. Things like the pack and play and the high chair and bibs and things like that. Um, so the packing lists do change, but some of this stuff always stays the same. And sometimes I think of things um, that I just, I know I'm not going to remember from year to year. So I hang on to the packing lists and um, I've got them. So I even have like a grocery list in here because I like to bring up um, food, some like breakfast ideas, lunch ideas, dinner ideas, all kinds of things just to keep my memory, um, just so I don't have to keep a good memory. I've got it all written down because goodness knows my memory, not that great. Okay, so then I just have um, some loose leaf paper for writing lists and notes and all the things. And then there's a pocket here in the back um, for other stuff. So 
My uh, other ideas that I did have for this was I wanted to print out some recipes for homemade popsicles and different um, summer treats that we want to try. And I would also, I would just stick these in here because once summer is over, I will put this in um, my cupboard where I keep a lot of my different binder, binders like my Christmas planner and stuff like that. Um, and so then I can pull it out next summer and add to it or take things away, whatever is more appropriate. So. That is my binder. Um, it, again, super simple to put together. I did this all in one evening and it just, I don't know, really easy. So this is keeping us on track this summer and organized and without things flying all over my house and keeping my life a hot spot messiness. No, 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 I don't want that. Nice and organized all in one spot. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, and if you're new here, I'd love it if you stuck around a little bit longer and hit that subscribe button and hung out at Sweetly Home for a little bit longer. Anyways, have a really great day, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.